Hello friends, we are solving the hacker and linguist module and this is the 10th question in the list. This question says that you have to get the node value. It means uh, linguist is given and you have to uh, find the data value of a node which is two distance away from the tail. It means if this is let's say 3, 2, 1, 0 is the linguist and the position from tail is given as 2. So the last node is counted as 0 then the first node and this is the second node. So you have to find the data value of this node. So for doing so, we will first have to count the number of nodes in the given linguist. Let's say the number of nodes that we have found from this linguist is 4. And then you find out how far the given position is from the beginning. So that will be equals to n means the total number of nodes minus the position from tail which is given. So let's say c here will be equals to 4 minus 2. So it means this is the second node from the beginning. So if this is the second node from the beginning, it means I will have to stop at this node. So if I start from the first node, I will simply have to give one increment to reach to the second node. So c is 2, but I have to move only one distance. So I will move in the link list one less than the value of c so this is the concept that we will use we can take another example let's say we have the link list like one two three four five six and we have been asked to find out the value of the node which is three distance from the tail so the position from tail is let's say three so this is the first node second node 0 node, 1 node, 2 node and this is the third node. So we have to find the value of this node. So if I have to find the value of this node, I have first counted the total number of nodes in the linguist which is 6. Then I will find out how, how far we have to travel from the beginning or how far we have to traverse from the beginning to reach to this node. So I am just marking it 6 minus 3 which is equals to 3. And then I have to make two distances or two traverses or two nodes ahead from the beginning. So if I start from here, I'll move here first and then I'll move here next. So two times I have incremented this P or I have moved ahead for two nodes and this is the data value that I'll get on. Fine. So one less than the value of C will be the traversal movements that will do. So that is what I have written here in this code. You can simply see that the linguist is given and the position from tail is also given. So I'm taking this P which is at the first node. I'm just going to count the number of nodes in the linguist. So there is a C which is a counter. By the time P is not null, I'm moving to the next node and incrementing the C. The moment this loop ends, we will have the count of the nodes in the linguist. And then I restart this P at the first node. P is equals to L list. I find a value n which is equals to c minus position from tail. I have to move n minus 1 steps from the beginning. So I have taken this i which is an iterator. And then while i is less than n, i is incremented by 1 and I am moving to the next one. When, the move, when this loop will end, I will be at the desired node and finally I am returning the data of that node. So this is a very simple process. Let's run this code. You can see that the sample test cases have got passed and all other test cases have also got passed. So thanks for watching this video.